Okay, now let us try and understand how our program executes using our physical model. And what you see on the screen is our program from, from line number 1 to line number 14. And we have said that number 1, number 2 to 14, uh, and uh, line number 14 are standard lines. Let us now use the physical model to understand int, i, and n. As usual, we have said that this is the computer memory. Before the running of our program, the computer memory is empty. So when it comes to line number three, int i, int n, it means a certain variable is labeled as i. Let's say this one has been called i. And when it comes to int n, one of memory areas has been labeled n. Let us say this is the one that was labeled n. So from that particular line now, we are sure we have reserved two spaces in our computer RAM. This space and this space, they belong to us. This has been called i. This has been called n. So... What follows next? What follows next is line number 4, where n equals to 5, that is, the quantity of 5 is entered into room n. So, you have 1, you have 2, 3, 4, and 5, now in room n. So, you know, on line number 4, that is the scenario. Line number five, i equals to one, you find now i has been assigned the value of one. So that is typically what happens into the computer up to ra uh, line number five. Now when the machine comes to line number six, while i equals to four, it comes in room i, uh, less than four, sorry, room i and find that in i there is only one and one is not equal to 4. It is less than 4. So for that matter, it goes now to line number 8 where n equals to n plus 1. So it adds uh, plus i. So in i there is only 1. So 1 is added here. And then it goes to line number 9 where you find i is equal to i plus 1. So in i there is 1. That 1 is added there. And that is the typical scenario of what happens in the first uh, run of the loop. Then the computer checks. Is 2, which is in i, less than 4? Yes. If that is the case, then repeat the loop. And in repetition of the loop here, n equals to n plus i. So now in i there is 2. It means 2 will be added into what is in n, eh, making it now to be 8 instead of 6. And when it comes to line number 9, that i equals to i plus 1, then this one is incremented to uh, 1, and it becomes now 3. Then the computer checks. Here in i, the, there is a quantity of 3. Is 3 less than 4? Yes, 3 is less than 4. So the loop will repeat, and then line number 8 will be executed again n equals to n plus i. What is in n now is 8. What is in i is 3. So 3 will be added here and now it becomes 11 and i equals to i plus 1. Then in i there will be 1. So you can see now in i there is 4 and in n there is uh, 11. So the machine will check again. Is i having a quantity less than 4? It will find that in i there are four, quant uh, 4 stones and this quantity is not less than 4. It is actually equal to 4. And for that matter, this condition now will fail so the computer will jump. Now when we say C out n, it means we are getting 11. And when we say C out i, then we are seeing 4. And for that matter, you can even draw the, this particular model just as we have seen. And that is what we can say uh, about loop 
and the way they operate in computers. Thank you again. We shall meet when we have to discuss arrays in our next class. For now, let us call it a day. Thank you.